Kitty says hi at the start of the video. <laughs> Hello. Okay, she doesn't like me doing that. I'm gonna stop now. So to start off this video, I think I messed up a little bit, guys. I think I might have um put too much or faith in myself that I would be able to do two fucking videos. Nope. A video every other freaking day. Okay, so if you have been following this channel for at least since the beginning of 2021, I have decided personally that I would like to do a video every other day this year. Now, that is proving more difficult than I actually thought it was going to be as the job that I have is fairly physically demanding. I'm not like moving 50 pound objects all day. It's more just I have to walk a lot and um, I often have to get up at really early hours. I typically have at least one shift that starts about 5 a.m. each week and I am not a very big morning person. I think my natural sleep cycle is probably around 3 a.m. to about 10 to 11 a.m. without me taking something like melatonin. And so yeah, I get maybe four hours of sleep on days that I have to work really early and then I get home and I want to sleep and then I take a nap and then it's six o'clock and then I freak out because I want to get a video out the next day but then I wait because I'm stupid and then it's nine o'clock and I realize I'm gonna be up until at least 11 probably editing the video but yeah that's where I am right now I don't know what this video is gonna really be about honestly I kind of want to give a little bit of um me uh actually fuck it this video is gonna be on what I want this channel to be so some of you um who may know either close friends or people who have legit been following me for that long. I truly started uploading videos consistently in early 2019 with those mostly being movie reviews, what I like to call critical reviews. They're more what I thought of a movie immediately after watching it. They're typically newer films that have just come out, not a lot of footage in them, and it's more me just sitting and talking to the camera. I was very awkward in those earlier videos. I still think of myself as fairly awkward, but at least I'm more comfortable in front of the camera. I I started doing movie reviews because I like talking about movies. I just wanted a way to really kind of get my opinion and whatnot on films out there. And I, that was kind of why I decided to start doing what I was doing. I enjoy talking about movies. I enjoy watching movies. I just enjoy movies in general. And so I kind of just wanted a way to maybe open a dialogue with people about what they enjoyed about certain movies, what they didn't enjoy about the movies, stuff like that. And then that's kind of all my channel was for a while. Pretty much most of 2019 when I was uploading videos consisted of movie, review, movie reviews words. I did a couple of other things. I think the first D&D &D video I did which was my story of my character Rissok which I want to go back and redo that. I was fairly awkward. That video is kind of boring when I look at it. I don't think it's very good. I want to retell the story. It's much more interesting if I can actually tell it. I was trying to be dramatic. It did not work. I failed very bad at trying to be very dramatic. Anyway, I continued in 2018 doing a lot of movie reviews, uh, doing occasional vlogs every here and there, uh, but as 2020 continued last year, I kind of switched up my content after a while. I switched to trying to do more vlogs, which I am not very good at in my opinion. I started trying to analyze movies more closely. I started kind of nitpicking apart using actual footage from movies because I could and I had the time on my hands too. I've just switched my content up a little bit. This is one of the bigger ones that I've switched up to with the way that I have been filming my stuff where I have a background in some of my videos, actually a lot of my videos. Uh, if you have noticed the bookshelf I have right there, that is used in a lot of my videos as my background, which that has all my anime figures, my manga, all that kind of stuff. It's also got my nonfiction, more reference material type stuff like encyclopedias on mythology, stuff like that, health books, stuff along those lines, books I need to return to people. Actually, if you look right there behind me, I think. I think my chair is actually in the way too. Yeah, kind of, you can kind of see right there, a little bit behind the chair. That's actually the first bookshelf I have with most of my books on it. Eventually I'm gonna get another bookshelf or a bigger bookshelf and that is potentially gonna become my background. Though it's kind of becoming excess stuff that I don't wanna like have behind me in videos, but yeah. Wow, I rambled on a bit for that. Yeah, my content changed to me looking a little more analytically at stuff, me using footage, me being a little more lively, more joking in front of the camera. 
I did a few Let's Plays last year. I tried some of them early on, didn't really work out. I did one of the Henry Stickman games, which the like fifth part of that is my most viewed video, and wow, am I grateful for that. Here's the thing, I don't know 100% where I want to take this channel in the future. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not trying to become like some famous guy on this platform. I don't want to be this big millionaire who shows you his fancy life. I just do this because I enjoy making and editing videos. It's just something I have a passion about and I keep learning new stuff every day to keep improving upon what I'm doing. But as of right now, I just enjoy doing this. And I'm just going to keep doing it. I don't really care how many views I get or anything like that. I think it would be cool if I got more, but I just enjoy making videos. That's why I keep doing it. I'm not going to stop. Probably not going to script most of my stuff either because I'm really, really bad at sticking to scripts. Though, one thing I really do want to do personally is um, start doing a kind of versus type series. Basically taking two fictional characters and pitting them against each other. Going over their powers and abilities, what they have, why I think they would beat their opponent in a fight. It's fun, and I enjoy doing that kind of thing. Because I'm a nerd, and nerds like to have arguments and battles and debates with each other because nerds um actually i am working on a video like that right now um hopefully i'll be able to finish that and get that out to you guys in a few weeks but yeah i've had that video like on the back burner for a while because like i was filming it and then like i stopped and then i rewrote the entire script from the ground up and then i just got distracted and i haven't finished it and i need to go back and finish that because <laughs> that would be fun yeah that's kind of an update hit future history of the channel future of the channel where I want to take the channel. I really need to start planning these a little bit more. I don't like scripts. I don't like scripting my videos completely because I don't like being locked in and I know for myself and I will forget and I will F up and just start kind of jumping all over the place. Anyway, me planning and having points I want to say, that is a different story and would probably be a little more helpful to me. But yeah, that's kind of what I want to keep doing. I do not plan on stopping my movie reviews anytime soon. I did um, a review of the uh, We Can Be Heroes film which I actually thought that was pretty good though I thought it was good in like a shark boy and love girl really campy kind of way not like an actual good film if that makes sense it's good for how campy and cheesy it is it's not good because it's good you know though it also feels like they tried to capture what made shark boy and lava girl amazing as the campy movie it is which was because it was trying trying to take itself seriously which this movie kind of does but also kind of doesn't so it's weird and odd and it is very clearly a kids movie because it kind of just deus ex is the end but yeah um i'll leave a link to that in the description uh, if you want to watch that video yeah that's kind of all i wanted to say just kind of go over my plans future plans for this. This isn't going to be a very heavily edited video. It's going to be mostly cut down. I'm not going to put a bunch of stuff in it. Oh, also, I do need to find a different ending song. I need to find something I like because I do not enjoy the current one I have, but it was the best of the options I had available to me at the time. Anyway, I will, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Probably no one's watching this. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Peace.